Hi, James Dean Bradford here from the Manic Street Preachers. You're listening to Nation Radio and you're going to hear our album, Rewind the Film, track by track. So, track one on the album, uh, This Sullen Welsh Heart, it's the kind of most bare opening track to a Manic album ever. Features the gorgeous crack vocals of Lucy Rose, James's acoustic, tiny bit of Hammond and James's voice as well. It's kind of got a Welsh country vibe to it. Uh, the lyrics really inspired by sort of Dylan Thomas, you know. How sullen is thou art and that sort of stuff. And um, I wrote a lyric in South Korea, bizarrely. <laughs> so looking out over the cityscape of Seoul, thinking, why am I such a miserable, melancholic Welshman when I'm in this amazing place having a brilliant time, but still feeling that kind of drench of, of melancholia? And it's just a, it's a kind of song of looking in the mirror and realising that I'm 44 and um, it gets hard to keep fighting the good fight. It gets harder every time, really, but we still, still that kind of delusion of rock and roll drags you in. I don't want my children to grow up like me. Hello, it's Nicky Wire from Manic Street Preachers. You're listening to Nation Radio and the track by track for our new album, Rewind the Film. Hello, this is James Bradford from the Manix. The second track on our album, Rewind the Film, is Show Me the Wonder. This song really kind of tries to bask and revive the sense of innocence that you have uh, when you're young, where you experience a day in the summer, or you're playing cricket in the summer, or you get a new haircut and you just can't understand why you kind of like, you know, your hair is falling in the right place. And kind of, it's just kind of one of those things of watching Steve over, you know, when you're young and just, and it, give, and it gives you such a, a thrill and kind of like you get, you know, goose pimples when you're watching him kind of like, you know, break the 800 meters with world record. And it celebrates those things. You can't explain why you feel so amazing. You kind of like, and it's, I suppose it's a rebuttal to the, the scientific and the religious where those two lobbies always want to explain everything and destroy each other and they want to give a reason for everything and we are just trying to celebrate those things I just talked about, those moments which you'd rather not have explained to you, those moments of innocence and those moments of glory and wonder. That's what this song's about. Hi, it's James Dean Bradford here from the Manic Street Preachers. You're listening to Nation Radio and you're going to hear our album, Rewind the Film, track by track. Track three, we have Rewind the Film, featuring the majestic uh, vocals of Richard Hawley, which kind of control parts of the song without trying, which is an amazing thing that a voice, his voice can do, it sort of quivers Scott Walker-like over, over the track. Quite a complicated song musically because it was based on a David Axelrod instrumental called Little Girl Lost, which then we completely re-recorded note for note. And then James came up with the sort of more progressive, which sounds a bit like something from Love so in the 60s. Lyrically, it kind of sums up the album, really, the idea that very reflective nature of where we are at the moment, trying to understand ourselves and the band and our place as people in a quite a, a, a raw way, really, very kind of melancholic way. But there is an uplifting nature to it. I sort of feel like it's six and a half minutes of uplifting heartbreak. Hello, it's Nicky Wire from Manic Street Preachers. You're listening to Nation Radio and the track by track for our new album, Rewind the Film. Track four on the album is called Builder of Routines. This song was written in quite a strange way. Myself and Sean were in Berlin in January of this year and we, we just wanted to change the scenery uh, to carry on the record because we'd been stuck in Cardiff doing most of the record and then we were just going over to Berlin to link up with a guy called Alex Silva who um, actually recorded the Holy Bible. He's a Welsh Italian guy that now lives in Berlin. So we were recording in Hansa Studios which is famous for the Bowie and Iggy Pop era and you two doing Acton Baby there. And uh, we were over there and it was like, you know, there was kind of three foot of snow everywhere but Nick couldn't make it out because he, um, he had some family illnesses at the time so he just couldn't make it out so we were struggling for another song to record and 
I asked Nick if he would, if he could text me some lyrics, and he texted me this lyric, "Builder of Routines," which kind of sums up his interior kind of misery, interior misery to some degree, where kind of he doesn't feel shackled to routine. He needs routine to actually make sense of one part of his life. It kind of the lyric could be seen as being slightly disturbing, but kind of I think I'd rather just see it as spooky. <laughs> Hello, this is James Dean Bradfield from the Manic Street Preachers. And I'm Nicky Wyatt, and you're listening to Nation Radio. Track five on the album is Four Lonely Roads, uh, featuring the wondrous Kate LeBond with this kind of beautiful vocal that cuts through the kind of hazy wooziness of the backing track. I was trying to write a song like The Two of Us, really, by the Beatles, something that kind of just lollops along in a kind of beautiful but understated way. Um, it's a very woody acoustic song with a beautiful bass line and lyrically it's, there's a lot of A. He Hausman uh, bits of poetry in there. I think The Four Lonely Roads actually is from Dickens. There's so much stuff in my head now that I can never kind of quite figure out what stuff I'm using or regurgitating through the last sort of 30 years of trying to acquire knowledge. It's a lovely feel song really. It just feels like the kind of sepia, sepia tinged end of the summer when you're just waking up in the morning. Hi, it's James Dean Bradford here from the Manic Street Preachers. You're listening to Nation Radio and you're going to hear our album Rewind the Film, track by track. Track six is a song called I Miss the Tokyo Skyline. When Nick gave me this lyric, I completely connected to it straight away because one of the strongest memories in the band is when myself, uh, Sean, Richie and Nick went to Tokyo in Japan for the first time and we were just absolutely mesmerised by the place. Uh, it seemed to hypnotise us and it was an amazing experience because obviously we had no connection to Japan except for a few books that we read perhaps and a few films we'd seen um, and we did feel oddly out of place there and we did feel disconnected from it but somehow seemed to just really enjoy the experience and we found so much there we found so much so much underneath the surface in Tokyo when we went there for the first time and subsequently we've back, been back to Japan you know nearly over 15 times now and so when Nick gave me this lyric you know I just knew all the things that kind of he was expressing in it I understood every line and I think I went down and re- in the studio in Cardiff and recorded this on a Saturday bizarrely and I never recorded That's anything. odd I never recorded things on a Saturday and um, when I finished it <laughs> I kind of wanted it I, it was just one voice and one guitar and I kind of wanted it to be an explosion of uh, or a collision of the modern world and the old world meeting because Tokyo has a has, has a very strange way of sitting the old by the new and somehow it just seems to be comfortable with each other so uh, Sean went downstairs and linked all his programmers together in his little drum pads and machines and he turned the, our control room into the matrix and uh, and kind of he put all the bleeps and whistles and bits of programming behind my voice and the guitar and this is what you got Preachers. I'm James Bradfield from the Manic Street Preachers and you'll be hearing our new album, Rewind the Film, track by track on Nation Radio. Track 7 is a song called Anthem for a Lost Cause. The basic reason for this song being written was, I suppose, an anxiety that the popular rock song or the anthem could not have the same effect on the cultural landscape that it used to have. Such examples being God Save the Queen by the Sex Pistols or White Riot by The Clash or Fight the Power by Public Enemy and... It was a worry. It was an anxiety that the song can no longer be a rallying call, or can define a certain anger or frustration in culture or society. And I suppose this song became a song about the futility of the song. But I don't feel like this all the time, so don't worry. Uh, it was just how I was how I was feeling on that week. It was it was in the winter and it was cold and it was raining, and uh, so this is what came out on, on that day. I've probably felt a tiny bit more optimistic since. Hello, this is James Dean Bradfield from the Manic Street Preachers. And I'm Nicky Wyatt, and you're listening to Nation Radio. Track eight, we have As Holy As The Soil That Buries Your Skin, which is the oldest song on the album. I'd written it uh, on a piano and a little acoustic back in 2007, 2008. 
and it sort of got lost in the ether. And um, I started playing it again about sort of six months into recording, ten months into recording. James just happened to hear it as he was going, and all of a sudden something clicked. I don't think we'd um, dismissed the song. It'd just been forgotten, and James could hear all the harmonies and choirs, and I could hear all the horn lines. I've been really listening to lots of Dexys and, uh, and Van Morrison, especially a song called It Stone Me. And all of a sudden this sort of, I don't know, Johnny Cash meets the impressions, meets Sam Cooke, sort of acoustic soul thing which I think Anthem for Lost Cause is of a similar vein they, the two songs fit together really nicely and it's it's a love song about loss it's a love song about all the people on the way that we've been lucky to meet and lucky to you know be friends with and unfortunately we might we've lost a few but um, it really is a song of loss and redemption it, it's, it's one of the more uplifting tracks on the album and it's just got a, a sadness that only a Welsh band can write I think the dust blows forward and the dust blows back. Hello, it's Nicky Wire from Manic Street Preachers. I'm James Brav here from the Manic Street Preachers, and you'll be hearing our new album, Rewind the Film, track by track on Nation Radio. Track nine, we have Three Ways to See Despair, which um, is inspired just by a little, a lovely photograph of the great guitarist Stuart Adamson, really. Just thinking how much we all loved him growing up in the skids and um, big country and then kind of the sort of tragedy, the way his life spiralled. And it was, The song, the lyric just started off as uh, exploration of uh, we're all, you know, we're all in the same boat. We know one wrong turn or one wrong decision can lead to a lot of kind of bad things. And out of that, just the idea of kind of keeping going. So there's, there is the, the start off in you know thinking it can all go wrong but really if you kind of dig in through the bad times hopefully you come out the other side and Jim's really translated that into something musically which is I think it could have fitted on maybe this is my truth it's got that pace quite ominous pace but then it kind of lifts up when it's, it's the only guitar solo on the album <laughs> and it's an absolute beautiful guitar solo we tried to make something which sounded like off the white album but maybe with Steve Albini producing or recording uh, I think we got there in the end. There are three ways. Hi, it's James Dean Bradford here from the Manic Street Preachers. You're listening to Nation Radio and you're going to hear our album, Rewind the Film, track by track. Track 10 is running out of fantasy. Probably the second oldest song on the record. Uh, this song was probably laid down as a demo uh, two and a half years ago at the very least. And initially, I think, uh, uh, Wire had plans to actually call the album this, Running Out of Fantasy. And I think he, he took the, perhaps took the title from a, from a Werner uh, Herzog uh, documentary. And some of my favourite lines are in this song. Um, quintessential Mannix, kind of Wire-esque kind of lyric. Uh, uh, my ecosystem is based on hatred. Um, and the seduction of a fading power in, the hotel, in a hotel room in the middle of nowhere. And I saw those lines and got very excited. Um, and I suppose this started off this, the, the album, uh, the real kind of acoustic direction of the album. And this song was, we did the demo in Cardiff and then we uh, did the, this actual master version in Berlin uh, with Alex Silver in the hands of studios. And it's got a nice little Germanic edge to it because a German guy in the studio did a string arrangement to it. And uh, Wyatt described it as Indie Adele. So, don't quite know what to think of that, but I'll go with it. <laughs> Hello, this is James Dean Bradfield from the Manic Street Preachers. And I'm Nicky Wyatt, and you are listening to Nation Radio. Track 11 is Man of Beer. This started out life as a weird little kind of loping blues instrumental that I had in my head and I didn't really know where I wanted it to be and it was the strange little cousin in the attic for a while this track and uh, <laughs> and Nick went and revived it went into the files and, and found it and um, remained convinced that it had some kind of potential and um, he titled it Man of Beer which is obviously a kind of a castle in West Wales just by the sea 
um, which is famed for, I think, Gerald of Wales uh, wrote the history of Wales there, I think. Uh, Virginia Woolf wrote there and perhaps George Bernard Shaw I'm not sure but anyway it's just a magical place and it's a place that um, the wire particularly holds in high esteem in his heart and suddenly you know, when uh, kind of this, this instrumental that I'd come up with uh, was retitled by him and he was called Man of Beer it just took a whole new direction and it just became something that was full of love it's kind of spooky because on a bad weather day Manor Beer <laughs> can be a kind of spooky but beautiful place but mostly kind of the track explodes into some kind of loving expression at the end and it's the first ever pure instrumental we've ever had on any of our albums first time is theremin on a manic song as yeah, well which james took a long time over <laughs> yeah, a whole day of like takes of on the theremin i think i can actually say i play the theremin better than jimmy page <laughs> Hello, it's Nicky Wire from Manic Street Preachers. I'm James Brav here from the Manic Street Preachers, and you'll be hearing our new album, Rewind the Film, track by track on Nation Radio. Track 12 is the final one, um, 30 Year War, and it felt, at the start, wasn't quite sure that we needed a, a political song, a more traditional Manic song, shall we say, because it's a very intimate and gentle record, but... Um, I gave the lyric to James and he was very inspired and very excited and came up with something really quickly, really good. And then we had a kind of gestation period where we couldn't quite get the right sounds and we wasn't sure about the, whether to put it on the album. And then all of a sudden it sort of turned into something quite retro futurism uh, with a hint of Tolerate and Blade Runner which suited the lyric, which is kind of trying to address 30 years of sort of class politics in the UK. It was kind of about the philosophy of Thatcherism, not the person. It was written uh, way before she passed away. But it's a proper edgy Mannix lyric, you know, which kind of puts everything into context. And I think we pulled one off. It's really hard to write a decent political song, but... Um, it's a great bridge to the next record. It's the one song which has elements that you'll hear in a much uh, more obvious way on the next record. <laughs> 